Todd Butterfield, LearnCrypto.io. I'm having a lot of students ask me about pyramiding. I think the problem is they don't understand pyramiding on the short side and also pyramiding on the long side. So I want to do a quick video here. In front of us is a chart of Bitcoin for August 18th, 2017. And today we've been in a downtrend. A, uh, try to give an example of how you could have pyramided a short position today because on my Twitter I was saying don't buy the dips, stay short. So for whatever reason, you, you could say this was an up thrust and we tested the up thrust here. And this was the area that I was getting short Bitcoin. So the blue arrow shows the first point where you would enter a short position. So again, you have no positions, you go short first with the idea of buying back at a lower price. So instead of buying low and selling high, you're selling high and then buying low. So we sell short here. Bitcoin moves in our favor on this five minute chart. We're looking for a decline where we think possibly you could have a 50% or less rally off of the decline to add on to your short positions. So one possible would be here, we had this 42.94 and we fell basically about $100. So you could say, well, a 50% rally from here or less, I would add on to my shorts. So with that in mind, you could have put on another sell right around in here. And what that means is now you've maybe sold one Bitcoin here, and maybe here you're going to sell three-fourths of a Bitcoin. You don't want to increase your position. You want to keep it same units or possibly a little bit less would be a little safer. But once you enter the second position, you want to make sure you're trailing your stop now because you don't want this position to go to a loser and this position. So let's say then you put a stop maybe at this level. That way you're locking in a gain on this short or a break even and you'll lose something here. So now you have one short and three fourths of one short. Once again, we have a hard break. So without putting the retracement lines on here, this is just a little over, just a little under six boxes here. So you'd want to rally somewhere around three boxes to put another short position on. So lo and behold, we get a chance to do that. Now we've got a third position. So again, you've got to change your stop. You can't let all these positions go against you. So now you come over here, drop the stop maybe about here. You got a profit locked in on this position. You got to break even to, to a small profit on this one. And this one would be a loss. Now, once again, we have a hard break for the day. So we break down, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half boxes. So you want to rally of about three and three quarters. One, two, three and three quarters. So once again, here around 4091, you could have sold. Another three fourths, or let's say you did the one Bitcoin, three fourths of a Bitcoin, half of a Bitcoin, and maybe a half of a Bitcoin. So you put this position on. You're pyramiding your position as it goes in your favor. So once again, take your stop, bring your stop down to here. We're short all of these units. And, and as I've been saying on Twitter today, don't buy the dip. We got weakness coming. Now here we are, clear down here at 39.95, broke this previous low. So now you're looking for a 50% or less rally back of the decline to sell some more. So once again, you follow one, two, three, four, five, six or so boxes, a rally of about three or less. So somewhere around in here, 40, 42, you could sell again. Or you're really going to want to wait and make sure this decline finishes on the downside. You can start getting some sideways where it looks like a decline is over. Wait for a 50% or less rally or retracement of the previous decline and just keep adding on. At some point, a sharp rally will come and it'll start stopping you out of all these positions. But this is a great way to pyramid into a big day or you know even a big week or month or year positions. Because you can do this on a five minute chart, you can do it on a daily chart. And there's nothing different. I gave I showed the short pyramid strategy, but on the way up you can do the same thing. So you could you could have let's say you bought here because you like the way of the decline, selling climax, etc. You could have waited for a rally. You could have bought, had a bid in probably right about here. I'd have to run the numbers. And then you'd have another rally. 
excuse me, you could have did, you could have probably, uh, probably had a buy-in here. This didn't come down to this level, so that probably, that would have been safe. It would have been long three units. Then you're waiting for another rally and buying a dip. So once again, you would have bought somewhere here. But then you would have got stopped out over in these areas. Because when you would add it on here, you'd have raised your stop up to about this level. So you'd have got stopped out of these longs. But you would have netted some gains. I mean, you're looking for hopefully a pyramid into a big position that goes your way. And keeps going your way so you can really hit a home run. That's all for now. We'll catch you with more of these videos as these markets trade and I uh, get enough inquiries from students, something that they will really like to listen to and understand. Thank you.